Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ona de Guzman, and our topic for today is Basic Concepts in Geometry for Grade 7, Quarter 3. At the end of this tutorial video, learners are expected to, number one, represent point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models. And number two, name a point, line, and plane. So let's have the first definition of terms. So we have the point. So to represent the point, we have the dot or the simply as a symbol. Okay. And how to name or denote this? We have the capital letter N. Okay. So we read this symbol as point N. For other information, this is a location a space with no dimension. So if we say no dimension, it means it has no length width or thickness for our real life okay example so we have a tip of a pen and this is the pictorial model the next um, undefined term that we will talk about is the line so line for our representation this is a straight mark with two arrow heads so our example is this so we have two arrow heads on opposite operations so how to name this is if we have this symbol it means this is actually read as line de okay if we are using two capital letters however we can name this one only one small letter so we read this one as line n other information for this one has infinite length but has no width and thickness and of course it must be straight our real life example is the ball pen and this is our illustration so this is actually a straight line so this is the okay, uh, illustration of a line so the next definition of term that we will talk about is about plane so this is our representation for the plane so we have slanted four-sided figure and this is the illustration so how to name or denote this? We have, uh, let's consider this figure. So we have, okay, DEG, the points DEG and, okay, N. So we can rename this one a small letter. Okay, we have plain N. However, if we will name, okay, plain using three capital letters, okay, we should have at least three points. And take note, it must be, okay, in succession. So we have actually plain DEG. Plane EGD, we have also plane GDE, or we can have the other way around, plane GED, plane EGD, and plane GDE. Take note, this representation refers to the same plane. Okay, the other information for the plane, it has infinite length and width but no thickness. It is a flat surface. So for our real life uh, example, we have actually a cover of a book, and this is the illustration. All right, for our exercise, let's identify whether the object is a representation of a point, line, or a plane. So let's consider number one, edge of a wall. Okay, so this is actually a line. Good. Next, number two, cell phone screen. This is a representation of plane. Next, number three, grain of salt. So this is a representation of point. Okay, next, strand of straight hair is actually a line. And finally, tip of a crayon is a point. Let's move on to the second exercise. So that is illustrate each of the following and label the diagram okay so let's try to illustrate okay point b lies in plane m so we have actually plane m okay so this is represented by slanted okay figure and there is okay okay plane m and the point b lies on plane 
Okay, M. So, we can write here point B. Okay. Next, line CD. So, the line CD, okay. So, if we will illustrate this, so we have line CD. Okay. There. So, this is in symbol. So, we can write this one. Actually, this is the line segment or line, should I say. And we have CD. Next, the point A for number A. So we can simply ask point A. Number nine, point F. And finally, for number 10, we have line AD. So again, so let's, uh, uh, let's draw a line. Okay, we have AP, A. D. So, in symbol, we can rewrite this one as, okay, we can write line and top on top of AT. So, that ends our discussion on the basic concepts on geometry. So, we talk about the definition of point, line, and plane. Again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.